What up gamers, I'm Sir Mav and welcome back to another weekly update of Anthem where I present to you the latest info discussed from the dev team. This past week we learned when the next live stream will take place, how we might be able to upgrade our gear within Anthem, and how the devs are comparing the gunplay to Mass Effect. I do this update every week so if you enjoyed this video give it a like and subscribe and tap fire that notification bell for future updates. We also have another giveaway coming out soon, so if you're interested, which I think you will be if you're watching this particular video, be sure you subscribe and get updated immediately when it's out. Now, let's talk about what we learned this past week about Anthem. First up, there was quite a few rumors stirred up from a Reddit user who stated that they had the inside scoop of a Bioware team member stating that Anthem was going to be delayed. If you're not freelancers, there is no delay in Anthem. The set launch dates for Anthem are shown here on the screen. Origin Premier members get to jump in on February 15th with access to the full game. If you have Origin or EA access, you can start on February 15th as well, but only a 10 hour free trial. The full game will launch for everyone on February 22nd. Ben Irving reassures us on Twitter that it shouldn't feel like a grind in acquiring cosmetics within the game. It will be more on the basis of playing the actual game. This is definitely a tough balancing act for developers because on one end, you want it to be challenged to get rare or legendary loot gear within the game, but you don't want it to feel like a never ending grind to acquire your cosmetics and loot within game. Of course, everyone has their own set of preferences on this, so let me know what you think on this down in the comments below. Give me some comparisons of how you think the gear grind should play out within Anthem. A question was asked on Twitter on whether or not we will be able to re-roll our gear in Anthem, similar to how you can re-roll weapons and gear within the Division game. Ben stated back that there would be no re-rolling of gear in Anthem, but he did refer that we could use crafting a lot of the same thing in pursuit of our own favorite stats on the gear. So it could be that we can enhance our gear through certain types of consumables or materials within Anthem. There's a lot of questions that could be asked to this like, will certain materials upgrade certain stats? Are there materials that we must combine to acquire progression of our stats? By upgrading our gear and weapons, could we then increase the tier level of our gear, like for instance make it a rare to a legendary, or even add additional perks to our gear from these materials? That's just a few questions that come to mind, but I want to hear from you. What's your thoughts on this reference from Ben, and how do you think the system will actually work? Let me know down in the comments section below. Mike confirmed on Twitter that there will be APIs or application programming interface in Anthem. Well, if you didn't know what API is, it's used to build software applications and allow programs to talk to one another. So likely we could see some sort of companion app in the future of Anthem. No confirmation on this just yet, but with this enabled, it is definitely likely. Maybe a mobile codex, for instance? Who knows? This past week, we finally received a confirmed date for the next live stream of Anthem. After a rather funny debacle between a typo date on the Anthem stream site, Mike finally confirmed that the next live stream will be on Thursday, November 29th at 3 p.m. Central Time. You can find the distribution of time zones on the image located on the screen in front of you, or you can use the link down in the description box below to convert the time to your time zone. Mike will be the host of this next stream, but there's no confirmed info on what exactly Mike will be covering on this stream just yet. I'm sure we'll get more details in a few days. We do know that there will be gameplay this time around, and it will be from the Interceptor's point of view according to Ben a couple weeks ago, but that's about it so far. Me personally, I'm wanting to see them showcase some loot info in Anthem and maybe see some stats and perks that we could see available on our gear and weapons. Let me know what you want to see in the next live stream down in the comments below. For those of you hoping this game was another Destiny, no it will not. There will be only one planet in Anthem. Again, there is no plans for any additional additions of Anthem. Those already announced is all that there will be. Going back to personalization, Mark answered a question on Twitter stating that there currently isn't any steampunk cosmetics, but that doesn't mean we won't see any cosmetics like this in the future. I'm actually a huge steampunk fan, so after seeing what the dev team could create as far as cosmetics wise from the recent livestream, I would love to see their ideas in this field of genre. According to Ben and Mike, the gunplay has been much improved in Anthem compared to Mass Effect Andromeda. Now, some of you may hate me for this, but I was not that big a fan of the gunplay in Mass Effect Andromeda. For me, it was very jittery and the aim function was really rather glitchy to me. It just made the gameplay annoying and difficult to continue on within the story, even though the story was fairly good. I guess it's just my multiplayer side of me, but I like my aim to flow smoothly, I like to have those sensitivity settings where I can adjust where I want, and the bullets hit where I aim. 
If you played any PvP game, like for instance Battlefield 5 right now, the gunplay has changed dramatically from the very beginning where the bullets are actually hitting where they're supposed to. So this will be very important in implementing properly within the game of Anthem as well, as we don't want it to be this game where you're not rewarded for your actual skill. Honestly, I'm not too worried about this. After hearing feedback from people that have actually played the game at E3 or Gamescom, they stated the controls and gunplay were great. So right now it's simply just a waiting game till we can get a hold of the game ourselves come February. Next up, Emily finally got a chance to show off her orange plaid colossus, or at least a glimpse of it while taking on some scars on Anthem Friday. As you've seen in the gunplay on the live streams or within the gameplay demo, there will be no minimap in Anthem. We have a compass at the top of our HUD that gives us all of our information on enemy whereabouts, waypoints, and objectives. I definitely prefer this over a minimap given that this is an action RPG and I want to be immersed within the world that the dev team has created for us. Minimaps are more for multiplayer games to catch sight of enemies and tactfully plan your next move. I'm pretty sure even some of you will completely shut off the HUD in Anthem once you've dropped in. And last up, Mark stated that it will likely take about an hour to acquire our next javelin in Anthem once we finish the tutorial. If you're new here to Anthem, everyone starts with the ranger javelin at the beginning of the game. After you reach the first tier level threshold, you will be able to acquire your next javelin which can either be the Colossus, Storm, or Interceptor. It's your choice. I can agree with this timing as this allows you to quite quickly get used to the controls of Anthem, then move on to another playstyle of your choice. If you so happen to not like that playstyle for some reason, you can always revert back to the Ranger until you get to the next level tier. And there you have it gamers, thanks for tuning in to this week's update for Anthem. As usual, I posted the link to the weekly update on the Fort Tarsus website within the description box if you want to see the links for yourself. Keep it locked here at iGame for all the latest updates on Anthem, don't forget to ring that bell for future updates, and I'll talk to you next time gamers. This is Sir Mav, signing off.